Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on December the 2nd. Um, the Constant Companion. Is the Constant Companion peace or chaos? We get to choose. Um, again, acknowledging and capturing the conductor of the brain train when it is running away from the station and it is wrapped in worry and fear and doubt and uncertainty or controlling and complaining. You guys take that train back to the station, change the conductor, and invite the powerful presence of the Prince of Peace to be the conductor of the train that day. Worship me as King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and Prince of Peace. You may need my peace each moment to accomplish my purpose. You guys, I've been thinking about this recently, and I think that we have all these external tasks to do, uh, to do, to do, to do, but how about the being? And I think regardless of what our vocation is or our occupation, our purpose is actually, I would like to say, to kind of elevate just by a tiny decibel, pulling one another up and out of the pit and the culture and into the presence. That is our purpose to live in awareness. We are not called to change other people. It is about a journey of self-awareness and learning to bring ourselves one decibel, one step, one stroke toward his presence in each moment, in each day. Then we drift back and that is our purpose. And you guys, if one, if each one of us is doing that and living that out in our workplace, we are changing the environment when we change ourselves. If you want to change the world, start by changing yourself. And when we start living in this awareness, we're raising that decibel. We're living out of the pit. We're living more toward his presence. And that is our purpose. The readings for today, the first one is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And again, this is our mantra for the month of December. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Y'all know I am not a biblical scholar. I am not a theologian. I have not studied this. This is really about what God imparts on me. So I went and I did some research. Help me understand a little bit more about what's going on when this was written. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. So this was written before the Babylonian exile. This was written to the tribe, the community in Judah. They were kind of surrounded by two other communities, Israel and Syria. They were very, they were feeling hopeless as a community, feeling hopeless and powerless. And they're asking Isaiah, is God with us? Is God for us? And Isaiah prophesizes that they will be defeated, they will be exiled, but they will return. So this is about imparting hope and power back to the people. And it is saying a child will be born. The government will be on his shoulders. That is what they are looking at, for unto us. And that is what that was very important for the people of Judah to hear. God is with us, for unto us the child will be born. So that is kind of a little bit of the history and the placement and understanding the relevance of Isaiah. 9, 6. So when we're feeling hopeless, when we are feeling powerless, we can call on these words of mighty counselor, mighty God, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father and prince of peace. The next reading is John chapter 20 verses 19 through 21. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And that's where I say this is our purpose is to be a representative of this peace. This peace that it, it is our companion, an everlasting source. We can be tethered to peace or we can be tethered to fear and worry. The choice is ours. 
um, the, when they, so anyway, that I'll leave that there because there, that there's a lot to pa unpack in that one reading right there. Uh, the final reading is Psalm chapter 25, verse, verse four, show me your ways. O Lord, teach me your paths, invite him into the day, invite him to be our partner. He is our life coach. We got to learn to listen, train our ears and when we begin to cultivate and prepare our heart and our minds to receive, he will remove the scales from our eyes. Y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.